Hey everybody, Ben here with this week's edition of What's Do With Magic Plan. With version 9 released a couple months ago, there were some pretty substantial changes that we made in the cloud. So over the next couple weeks, we're going to be giving information about different sections within the cloud. This week, we wanted to start with projects, the basic functionality within the cloud. So let's jump right into it. The first thing you're going to want to do is log in with your credentials at cloud.magicplan.app. By default, after a successful login, you will land on the Projects tab. That's what we're going to discuss today. Here, you'll see an overview of all the plans that you've uploaded to the cloud so far. If you work in multiple workspaces or teams, you can come down here, click on the dropdown, and see all of the different options you have at your disposal. For the sake of this demonstration, we're going to stay in my default Benjamin.Brown workspace. To go into a plan, simply click and it'll load a 2D rendering, the exact same that you would see in the Magic Plan app on your mobile device. Please note though, you cannot make edits to your plan in the cloud. That is strictly a feature designated for your mobile device. However, you can move this by clicking and dragging or by zooming in and out with your mouse wheel or with your touchpad on your laptop. Additionally, you can change the floor that you're viewing by clicking here in the top left. You can also embed your floor plan by clicking in the top right on the embed option. This allows you to unpublish and publish the plan on the web. What this means is you'll get a URL that you can share with colleagues and customers that allows them to see a two-dimensional, a three-dimensional, and a panoramic walkthrough of their project if you've uploaded 360 degree images. You can also share this project by email by typing an email here and selecting send. Or you can embed a three-dimensional rendering directly onto your website using this code right here. Additionally, in the top right, you have the option to delete your project. You have to confirm, and please note that this will delete it forever. In the bottom left, if you want to see a basic overview of statistics for the project, simply click here and you'll get some basic information. For more information, you can click see all statistics for more in-depth information. So here in the top left, it says 2D floor plan. That's the standard view that you're seeing right now. It's the same as the mobile application. If you want to view it in 3D, the same as in the mobile application, simply click 3D floor plan. Once it loads, you can click and drag to change the way that it looks. You can also zoom in and out. The cool thing about the cloud is you have a full screen option here which will let you view it on your entire monitor, or you can capture a quick screenshot by clicking screenshot, and this will create a PNG file of the 3D rendering as you're viewing it now. After 3D floor plan comes the 360 degree floor plan. This will create a new tab in your browser that allows you to view all of the 360 degree panorama shots that you've uploaded to your plan. So for this project, I have our kitchen, I have our hallway. And as you can see, this is a great way to create a virtual tour of your office. After that comes the Files tab. Here you'll view all of the files for exports that you've generated within the app. So here's my PDFs, an OBJ file, JPEG, PNG files. Anything that you've generated in the app will get uploaded to the cloud with the project. Here, you'll be able to view all images that you've uploaded to the project, should you want to save them locally on your computer. And lastly, here's a breakdown of the current estimate that you have for this project. If you live in one of the regions that supports Amazon, then you can select buy from Amazon to go straight to amazon.com and start purchasing materials. And that will conclude this week's edition of What's New with Magic Plan. I hope you learned a lot about the cloud and the projects tab within the cloud. Stay tuned for future updates in the upcoming weeks. We look forward to speaking with you then. Have a good day.